What is ADSR? Well, ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. These are the four main controls of an envelope. Envelopes are what make a sound short and punchy, or long and drawn out. Most digital synths that you've probably encountered have an amp envelope with all four ADSR controls. An amp envelope simply changes the amplitude or volume of the sound over time. You can think of envelope controls like stages that your sound is gonna go through once it's been triggered. Let's start with the attack stage, the first stage. Attack determines how quickly the sound will go from being silent to reaching its full volume once it's triggered. Here we have a basic sine wave with an attack of one millisecond. See, you can hear there's no ramp up, it just immediately comes in. But what if we make that one second? Hear the difference? Attack is pretty simple, you can almost think of it like a triggered fade in. Now let's take it to stage two, decay and sustain. Decay and sustain work together like partners. As a sound is still being triggered, it will start to ramp down to its sustain level after the attack phase. Decay is what determines how long it will take the sound to reach that sustained level. The sustain could just be set at the full volume of the sound, but a lot of times you'll want to reduce the volume as the note is held out. Here's an example. You can hear how this sound decays after one second, and when held out it has a much lower volume than when it initially came in. Now here's what it would sound like if we didn't reduce the sustain at all. For this sound, I didn't change the decay setting. Without reducing the sustain level, decay really does nothing. So that's what sustain sounds like at max volume, but what if we just zero it out? It's similar to the low sustain version, but this time after decay is reached, nothing happens even when I'm holding the notes down. Now it's time for the trickiest stage of all, release. It's important to know that triggers usually have an on and an off state. When the sound is triggered on, the first two stages are triggered to run. Stage two will just stay at the sustain level until the sound is triggered off. When this happens, the release stage begins. Release is essentially the same as decay, but it's working off of an entirely different trigger. No matter where the sound is in the previous stages, release will be triggered once you lift your hand off the keyboard. That means even if we're two seconds into a 20 second attack stage, our zero second release kicks in once we stop playing. And if we're two seconds into a 20 second decay stage, our one second release is gonna take over once we stop playing. When you use longer release with a shorter attack and decay, it feels really tactile for things like 808s and other plucky sounds. You can do a lot more than just map volume to an envelope. You can even map things like filters or pretty much any parameter you can imagine on the synthesizer. So now that you know the fundamentals, start playing around. Feel free to send me whatever you make.